Welcome to another video. I'm sorry for not filming um, over the last couple of weeks, but I've been incredibly busy. And um, yeah, I'm actually still busy because I'm studying for exams. I got all my stuff uh, down here. Um, but I found some time now and I'm giving it a try. I had trouble with the camera as well, so um, yeah. And today's video will be a makeup routine video. Um, where I show you my favorite products um, and what I use on yeah, a regular basis. I actually thought about applying it on camera, but I don't have a cable, so I'm just recording it now and then put it on the computer afterwards. So, um, yeah, applying makeup in, in front of a camera just doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to show you the product. I'm going to talk a little bit about it, why I like them and um, what I do. And um, I started applying makeup after um, I used a toner and after I used my, my daily moisturizer. And um, the first thing I then do is apply my foundation and I use my fingers to that because I prefer to use my fingers. And my favorite foundation at the moment is the MAC Mineralized Satin Finish Foundation in NC. 15. I hope the whole zooming thing works. Um, as I said, it's a satin finish, it's not a matte finish. So, um, yeah, it gives you a very, very glowy, dewy um, face afterwards, which is something I really like. The thing is that you shouldn't apply concealer on top not if you not use a powder as well. So for this foundation to work in the way it's intended to you, uh, to work, um, you need rather good skin, unfortunately. Um, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. Today um, it didn't, so I used concealer on top and some other stuff. Um, the concealer I used on top are Two different ones. Um, since about two weeks, I finally own the um, Touch 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 Eclat, however you say it in French, from Yves Saint Laurent, um, which I use mainly around my eyes to cover rings under my eyes to brighten my eyes, and um, I I wanted a liquid, a more liquid concealer because of my rather dry skin around my eyes and before I was using only the Studio Finish Concealer also an NC15 um, by MAC um, great concealer for really covering up red spots etc it was just a bit too dry for under my eyes at least sometimes it is and on those days I used this one and for the rest of the face I still love to use this one and then on top to finish it up, off to um, set the foundation and to blend in with the concealer, etc. I'm using the Mineralize um, Skin Finish in Natural in Light together with my MAC Kabuki brush in 100 and, uh, 182, which is a great brush. I love Kabukis. Then to my eyes. I often do not use anything besides mascara. No eyeshadow, no nothing. Um, because I don't have time, then I wear contacts, I often touch my, like on top of my eyes. Um, if I do use eyeshadow, I really really like my Naked palette, or Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. Um, and I also really do like my new little travel palette from Dior, the smoky eye one. Um, today is one of those days where I didn't put anything on except mascara and I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. And uh, I always have two here, one is a newer one and one is a bit of an older one. I use mainly the older one and just every once in a while the newer one. The reason for that is this is a great mascara, I love the little brush 
but a regular brush. But in the beginning, this is a very, very wet mascara. And I prefer a mascara which is a bit more dry. So I always have two using the drier one. And to dry the, the fresher one a bit out, I use that one every once in a while as well. Until the dry one is done, then the fresher one is a drier one and then I got a new one. If that makes sense. For my eyes, I use the Alverde Eyebrow Gel. It's a German product, so everyone else you probably won't be able to get it, except in Austria and Switzerland or whatever. Um, I use the 02 Brown. I'm not sure they have this one and they have a clear one. I'm not sure if they now have um, new colors as well, because somewhere I read that they now have a dark brown as well. But I actually think this one works for me pretty good. And what I do first, I use the little brush and brush my, my eyebrows um, upwards into the right direction. And then I apply this one. Um, every once in a while when I have time, the middle brown color in my Dior palette fits pretty good with my eyebrows. Um, and also one of the colors in the Urban Decay, in the Naked 2 palette as well. Sometimes I use um, a small brush and um, some eyebrow or yeah, eyeshadow as eyebrow powder and then this on top. But um, I usually don't have the time, so. Um, so much about my eyes. I once mentioned I don't like bronzer. And I'm still not a huge fan, but I like bronzer for contouring and I use for contouring either my new bronzing powder in soft sand from the Hey Sailor collection or the black honey blush from Clinique, which is unfortunately a blush which doesn't work for me at all. I'm happy that I have it because I know what height what a high product it is, but it doesn't work for me at all, unfortunately, not as a blush. Um, yeah, and I use this together with um, the Flawless Face Brush from Bare Minerals. Yeah, I also have a, a, another um, Bare Minerals blush in a bit smaller, which also works really good, and I use that to contour a little bit. Though I think I have a rather slim face already with rather high cheekbones, so um, yeah. And my favorite blush combination, blush highlighter combination, is a Sephora duo at the moment. First I apply the blush, which is the Rose Petal number 8 from Sephora, and I'm using my little blush brush. Uh, I love that it's in like this little thingy because it's great for traveling or having it in the handbag. Um, use this first and then on top I use the full flawless, full flawless base uh, brush from Bare Minerals with the highlighting compact powder on top close under my eyes and a little bit on the hairline. Um, for highlighting reasons. And um, yeah, that is actually my, my daily quick skincare routine. Takes a bit more than five minutes, but not quite 10 minutes. And um, yeah, that is like my, my look to go um, when it doesn't have to be anything special. And um, yeah, um, so now you know. Hope you like it and uh, I hope to see you again soon.